Hi everyone, Dr. Bruce here. So in this video, we're going to take a look at surface tension and surfactant in the lungs. So let's begin with surface tension. What is it? So here are some water molecules. There's the oxygen and the two hydrogens. And water molecules, you may remember, are polar, meaning that the hydrogens are on one side, the oxygen's on the other side. So what happens with water molecules is they create a partial positive charge on the hydrogen side and a partial negative charge on the oxygen side. So what this partial, what these partial charges do is they cause water molecules to form bonds between them. Not the bonds within the water molecules, but the bonds between water. So these bonds create a force called surface tension. And so surface tension actually is a force that we can observe in something like a drop of water. So if you drop, have a drop of water on a hard surface, you notice that it has a round shape. The round shape is produced by the inward pulling of the surface tension. So what does this have to do with the alveolus? So remember the alveolus is the smallest functional unit in the lungs. It's where the gas exchange occurs. So there are a couple of different cells in there. The type 1 cells in the alveolus are the flat squamous cells, which is where the gas exchange occurs. They're very small, thin, flat cells, and oxygen and carbon dioxide can diffuse right across them. There are other cells as well, and those are the type 2 cells that secrete surfactant, which help to reduce the surface tension and keep the alveoli and the lungs from collapsing. So this is important because of respiratory distress syndrome. This occurs in babies born at less than 28 weeks of pregnancy. And in these babies, there is not enough secretion of surfactant. So the lungs then can collapse. So the treatment then is to administer surfactant until they mature enough to secrete their own surfactant. All right, so hopefully this helps you understand the role of surfactant and surface tension in the lungs. And we'll see you next time.